Hello everyone, how y'all doing? Welcome to another video. Quick how-to video to let you know how you can figure out what version you're currently calling of a program on Windows. Uh, if you're using command uh, line, here, type CMD, you can open a new command prompt. Um, Sometimes you want to do some batch executable files. I want to call a specific program like, I don't know, Python, for example. And um, this is per version 3.9, but for example, I wanted to use version 2.7 for the specific uh, use case that I have or FFmpeg, uh, something like that. I typed it wrong. And right now I'm using version 5.0, but um, I have several versions of FFmpeg installed on my machine. So I wanted to know which version on the command prompt uh, things that I'm using. And the way to do that, I'm going to give you the solution right now is to type where. Where is a command that exists on the system? And if you type where FFmpeg, it will list you all of the FFmpeg versions that are on your environment variable path system. So you know what it is? I'm going to explain it to you. If you don't care, that's fine. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, so I'm going to explain why they list it like this and why the order matters. So if you go to environment variables, if you start typing environment, you will have this option to edit the system environment variables. And you see here this uh, system properties of your computer where you have this environment variables uh, option. Um, this is divided into two parts. This one is for the specific user that you're using on the, your machine right now, the one that it's logged in. And this one is for <coughs> everything in the system. When you install a new program, it often asks you if it wants to install just for the specific user or for the entire system. Most programs entire ins install for the entire system. So the most, even though you can edit this path, this list of paths here, usually the one that you want to find is the path on the system variables and edit this one. You can see that it's littered with tons of crap that I installed throughout the years. Um, and this is where things uh, get interesting. So when you type a command on the command prompt, it will go through uh, every single one of these directories and check if the command exists there. So when I type ffmpeg, it will search on C two points windows if ffmpeg exists there. It doesn't do it doesn't do subdirectories, uh, and then it will check on system thirty two. It will uh, check in system thirty two wbm. It will check on PowerShell, and it will finally check on program files ffmpeg binaries. And that's the first FFmpeg version that it finds. You can see it listed here. So um, goes through that, so goes through all of them, and eventually it reaches image, it reaches image magic's version. Um, I have more FFmpeg versions installed on my machine. Uh, if you want to do a complete search for all of them, um, you actually need to do a dir search. So if I would type dir FFmpeg exe slash subdirectories it will search the entire computer for this it's going to be slow though because i have a lot of stuff so i'm going to just search it on program files because i know that i have a few versions in program files i also have a few versions on program files x86 that i am aware of uh so did fmpeg.exe slash subdirectories and it will search all the entire subdirectors and you see that it found the version of ffmpeg official one the image magic version and one that twitch leecher uh, application has installed um there's also if i go to program files x86 and do this call again will also find a version that i have for audacity that I also have installed so i have like four versions of fmpeg installed on my machine uh, but the command line only sees two and if you want to know uh, the exact order of those two, and, uh, open a new command line where right? that search, you type where ffmpeg.exe. Um, so this is the order that it will find. It's important, like, if you're trying to run a script on ImageMagick and it's failing because it's using the wrong ffmpeg, uh, you can fix it by going into environment variables and moving this up to the first position so it gets that. Uh, this is important not just for ffmpeg, but, for example, for Python, a lot of different programs use different versions of Python, so you always have to have at least two versions installed, and it can be hard to 
manage which one is being used at the time so it's important to know this little uh, where trick uh, to to figure out stuff uh, also another thing uh, if you were if you would not want to use command prompt to search ffmpeg you would have to use file explorer and go to the place that you want to search it's program files and then type here ffmpeg.exe it's significantly slower than searching on the command prompt that's why i do it on command prompt and i recommend you doing it on the command prompt as well so he's only found one so far while the previous one found three right away so yeah that's the video that i wanted to do just to make a quick note on how to um find which files uh, are in the right order of the your environment variables under windows uh hope this was useful see you next video bye bye everyone take care